My name is Zach Ellis and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way. Along with a few friends of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and of course, enjoy the video. What's up guys? We're back out here with the SRT4 again. Today we're going to be trying to knock out a splitter for the front of the car. So here's the wood that I picked up. As you can see, it's nothing fancy. I ended up buying, it's 15 30 seconds thick, regular plywood. People typically recommend getting birch wood to make the splitters if you're going to do it out of wood, which I had intended on doing, but I'm going to take this time to make this as a uh, version one, I guess. I'm going to learn from it because I know there's going to be mistakes made. What my plans originally were was to set this thing up under there. I was going to put two bolts in the very back of the splitter to attach it to my H brace. Here, let me get under here and show you. My plan was to take this H brace and almost back to these bolts a little forward. I was probably more like here. So I was going to be just forward of the center axle. I was going to put a rib nut right here and then another one on the other side and i'm just going to bolt the splitter to that in the rear side that's going to take care of the back and then up here in the front which this i'm still going to do i'm going to make a little bracket to bolt to here i'll just put two rib nuts and then a drop down bracket with an l piece uh to hold the most of the front of the splitter and i might do a center one as well not sure about that yet and then i got splitter rods but the issue that I'm running into is I decided to use my brain and look at the uh, SCCA rulebook for autocross. So I know the class that I'm running into, all the mods that I'm going to be doing this winter are, uh, I'm going to be fine for the class that I'm running in, which is street prepared, except for the splitter. So there's two rules that I was breaking. So the first one is, it says, it may not extend rearward beyond the frontmost part of the front op wheel well openings. So basically what that means is the splitter has to stop somewhere around here. So it can't extend rearward beyond the frontmost part of the wheel well, which is here. So the back of the bumper essentially. Since I can't go beyond that front opening, I don't think I'm gonna have to make a rear mount for it. I'm gonna do the radiator support mounts and then the strut rods, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, the other thing is it says, which this one I really don't understand. It says splitters may not protrude beyond the bumper. So what the fuck is the point of a splitter if it doesn't stick out at all? So I think I'm, this is the way I'm going to interpret it. If I'm wrong, I'm going to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking it's talking about left to right. So it can't stick away out past the side of the bumper, um, but it can stick out in the front like a splitter typically does. Uh, I may be wrong. I may be right. I don't fucking know. But either way, mine's going to stick out. All right, so here is the splitter rods that I got. This is a product made by Professional Awesome. So I got two 18-inch splitter rods. These rods are carbon fiber. Uh, the reason you do carbon fiber is because they've got flex so they can bend a little bit but still are strong enough to where they're not going to let the uh, splitter dive down. And then I got the rod end so you put the rod in there, you tighten down this nut, it's going to sandwich that thing in there. And then I got the quick, quick disconnect pins. So I got two of those. I think they cost, they were something like 90 bucks. So kind of expensive for what they are. but. It is what it is. And then the last thing uh, that I have to do, which I have it over here, not sure how I'm gonna make it work yet, but is the uh, air dam. So you need an air dam to go from the splitter up to the bumper. So I have to create an air dam. And the way I'm gonna do that is with uh, no dig guarding edge. I don't know if you can see the picture here. You can see that picture. It's just a little channel that is designed to, here's a better picture of it goes in the ground you put the little stakes in the ground it is like the edge of your garden so we're going to use that a lot of people use it i see it on youtube all the time so we're going to take a shot at that but now that we've got all of my errors talked about all of my plans talked about 
I figured out concept. We're gonna make a four inch lip out of some plain beam plywood. So we made it pretty far today. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. It is only three o'clock, but I have to run it into Philly and pick up my wife. So I'm gonna have to hop back on it tomorrow, but I wanna show you what I got so far. So here it is. Um, as you saw, I took the bumper off. Uh, you can see the bumper line and then the actual lip line. These, This outside line might change a little bit, but as of now, it's a general idea of where it's gonna be. My method for mounting this, so I took that rectangle bar, I cut off one side of it, so I had a long side, I think it was four inch, and then a two inch side here. Trimmed down the back side to three inches, and then this is your regular two inch lip here. Uh, I had to notch out for my coolant lines here and here, so uh, they're not being interfered with, they're not rubbing on this at all, so I don't have to worry about them being damaged in the future. Um, the next step for now is going to be drill a hole here, here, and then the same thing on the other side to put rib nuts and then bolts into there. And then I might put another one in here and there somewhere. Basically, try to add as many mounting points as possible. And then down here on the underside, I didn't do anything to it. I uh, notched it out for the H brace a little bit. And then the, uh, what you would call it, bars. You can see the bolts up in there. So under here, I think I'm pretty good, minus I got some hardware in there for now, just temporarily holding everything into place. So tomorrow I'll go ahead, I will uh, pick the camera back up and we'll finish mounting this thing up and then hopefully get it painted by the end of the day tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Thank you.
guys so we got the splitter completely finished as you see here we've got our splitter rod supports installed our air dam is installed I've got to clean off some of the marker there but I'll do that a little later the one thing I did want to share is how I was mounting that so I was drilling a hole and I was inserting these uh, T nuts basically what it does flip this over for you is it pulls into the wood so that it's completely flush the reason I went with this is once they get squeezed in, they're semi-permanent. Permanent as in I can undo the bolt, they'll stay in place, but if I want to remove them, I can undo the bolt a little bit and just knock them out. Uh, super cheap option, maybe something to think about if you decide to build one. But we got it completely finished, I'm going to go ahead and get it installed and show you guys the final product. thing I have left to do which I'm gonna do off camera is clean up the white marks on the splitter um, not a big deal but this thing came out good it works so well and it will hold the weight of me let me show you so that is what do I I'm like 170 pounds yeah I'm 170 169 something like that um, it holds me no no problem. It doesn't really flex at all. It came together really well. I uh, man, I'm hyped with it. It looks so good. The next thing I have to uh, overcome is getting out of the garage. Um, I think 99% sure it's gonna scrape on the ground out there. All right, first spot already. Very 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 low.
which super unfortunate but it is what it is if it scrapes too much on the second version of this i'll make it a little shorter this one here is four inches i believe so it's pretty big um this was a tough project i won't lie it wasn't super easy um but yeah i'm super happy with it uh damn i would definitely recommend you guys trying to make your own um using the wood it, it's super affordable it makes things uh less risky the whole cost of this thing the wood i bought a whole sheet i think was fifty dollars the two splitter rods i bought from professional awesome i think they were like ninety dollars 95 shipped um the metal bar across there i had already owned that which is the reason i used a steel bar kind of heavy but it works uh, i don't know how much that would be at a store at lowe's don't buy it there it's gonna be way too much money go to like a metal supplier much cheaper and then the air dam was twenty dollars i think less than thirty dollars and then all the hardware i probably had i don't know thirty dollars in nuts and bolts so uh, whatever that is i'll put the number here on the screen i'm not calculating it in my head right now um not bad not bad considering you get like an apr one they're like five hundred dollars uh, this took a little bit if you had a friend it would make things a little bit easier i'm a solo bird so just another little level of difficulty added to the equation but in the end of the day i am super super satisfied with how this thing came out i uh damn i'm happy with it look at this thing the car looks totally different holy shit crazy well if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any tips for me please put it down in the comment section um, I am going to remake this eventually I promise I will eventually um, if you have any ideas tips that you think would help me out let me know but other than that don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one